Hey there Libra, welcome to Share Extensions. Thank you guys so much for being here, I really appreciate it. So this is going to be a general love reading for you guys for June to August, okay? I know we're almost done with June, but it's still uh, June, so we're going to go over that, okay? So basically I'm going to pull three Romance Angels cards and six Tarot cards for each month, okay? So um, at the end of each spread you guys can ask a yes or no question and I'll be clarifying with this deck right here uh, to let you know what the answer will be. And that's going to be for each month that I'm going to do that. And at the very end here, Libra, for those of you who um, are out of communication with the person or there's someone that you are communicating with but you feel like there's something they're not saying, I'm going to pull some love messages and see what's going on with that. So we may be able to get you guys some clarity. So let's go ahead and get started here. What's going on in love for Libra in June, okay? True love, wow. Healing family issues. It is safe to love, okay? Okay. Um, so, we're going to go ahead and clarify true love. This is the romance of a lifetime, okay? So, what's going on with true love for Libra here? So we're getting the Hermit and the Five of Wands, all right? So this could definitely be somebody that you have some conflict with, okay? It could be a Virgo, maybe somebody who has uh, Saturn in Leo, okay? Um, I feel like some of you are struggling in love, but I feel like it is true love, okay? So I feel like there's something here where you guys um, are not quite on the same page as your partner in the month of June. What's going on with healing family issues? Some of you could have a family with this person. now. Um, the clarification says your love life benefits as you forgive your parents. For some of you, I feel like that's the case. But for others of you, I feel like you may already have a family with this person. Okay? So, Six of Swords. There's something about movement here. Some of you guys want to move forward with someone. Okay? Mercury and Aquarius. We have the Ace of Cups as well. Water, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Okay? So, yeah, there's a lot of love here. But I feel like there's a lot of conflict because things are stagnant, basically. Okay? basically. So for some of you guys, I feel like this could involve uh, some kind of weird um, parent-child dynamic here, but I also feel as if, you know, for some, you already have, uh, you already have, I'm, I was going to say children. I was going to say you already have a family with this person, but some of you could have children with this person, and maybe you're kind of struggling in regards to, um, you know, how you want to progress with them in regards to a conflict that maybe they're dealing with, or you could have trouble adjusting. Ace of Cups, there could be a new addition to a family for some of you guys. But there's a lot of messages here, so just bear with me. Some of you, there's just a move going on and you're, you're having trouble adjusting. But, you know, I feel like don't doubt your connection here. Don't doubt your connection. It is very strong, okay? And the two of you will overcome this, okay? Um... Some of you, you do want to, you want to move in with this person. Others of you, I feel like you are trying to adjust to a big change within the family, okay? You also have, it is safe for you to love, open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all, okay? The world card, though, it does represent uh, closing a chapter, starting a new one. So for some of you guys, I do feel like you are healing a family issue. So the way that you see something or the way that you feel about, so you're having to set something aside is how that feels here, basically. Some of you, this could be your pride, okay? Somebody's having to set their pride aside in order to have some kind of movement because things are just not progressing because it's been your way or their way for a very long time. So some change has to be made is basically what I'm seeing here, regardless of your situation. Six of Cups, Sun and Scorpio, it can represent children, okay? Um, and we also have the Empress. It can represent a mother, Taurus and Libra. So for some of you, this family issue stems from a mother, okay? It doesn't have to, but it does stem from childhood for a lot of you guys. Others of you, it stems from uh, being a mother or having children. You could be a father as well, of course, but um, the Empress represents a mother. That's why I said that, okay? Open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all. It's interesting. I feel like for some of you guys, you could be in a space where um, you've had so much conflict back to back with this person that you're struggling to see their side of things and you, you may be in a space where you want to shut them out, okay? Here in the remainder of June, you want to shut them out. They could be bugging you about something here, okay? So they could just be on you and on you and on you about something or it could be vice versa, all right? But I feel like the two of you are just not on the same page, okay? Um, and some of you may be having some doubts within the connection here, Page of Pentacles. I feel like there will be a turnaround though. I mean, you have the Three of Pentacles, but it's going to take the both of you and I feel like the both of you are in a space where you are um, wanting to shut one another's feelings out here, okay? It's like you're wanting to move into the space of being selfish. And the Empress, she's not selfish, okay? So nurture this connection here. Work on it, okay? It's safe, okay? You're not giving anything up by working on this, okay? It feels like, the, uh, for those of you who are wondering, it feels like you're already in a commitment with this person. So could be a Capricorn. We're, we're getting a lot of signs. I'm not going to go over the signs here. So go ahead and ask your question for the month of June, Libra.
we will get it. Yes or no, by the way. So if I phrase it in the form of yes or no. What's going on here for Libra? Yes or no in June? Yes or no in June for Libra? Yes or no in June for Libra? Yes or no in June for Libra? Without a doubt. So you have without a doubt, okay? So that's what's showing up for your answer here. Okay, so let's move on to July for Libra. What's going on with Libra in love in the month of July? What's going on with Libra in love for the month of July? Now, if the messages are not resonating with you, you're more than welcome to stick around or skip around. I'm not reading in a straight line. Um, you know, I'm setting the intention to reach as many people as possible. So, unless the message is very powerful, then um, we're going to see some different stories here, okay? Ooh, I feel like this came up for you guys once before. You have pay attention, not in this reading, but in a different one. Pay attention to the red flags. The signs are cautioning you. I think it was in your love and money reading for July, okay? Pay attention. Uh, pay attention to the red flags and signs are cautioning you. Love yourself first. Your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. And let your friends help you. Ask for and accept support from others, okay? So what's going on with pay attention to the red flags for Libra for the month of July and love? How about love yourself first? And how about let your friends help you for Libra in the month of July in love. Let your friends help you. Hmm. Pay attention to the red flags. The signs are cautioning you. Lots of messages from your guides. A lot of you guys are not seeing a lot um, of, how do I put this here? Of straightforward proof. You're not seeing a lot of like evidence of something, but I feel like intuitively you know that something is going on. Uh, she's got the third eye lit up there in the temperance card. Um, and then in the star card, you know, we use stars to guide us, right? I feel like you're being guided to some sort of, um, you know, final truth or uh, like definite truth, absolute truth is the way that I'm getting this. Um, uh, so it's the absolute truth, whatever this is here that you're being guided to. So I feel like there, there's this energy of like shining a light on something. So somebody here, um, and for a lot of you, I strongly feel that this is a spirit guide, okay? Um, but they're shining a light on something for you. But I feel like you're not really able to see it. It seems like, you know, there is a veil here, okay? It could involve a Sagittarius or an Aquarius, okay? Um, but for the most part, I feel like some kind of healing needs to be had here. Maybe it's within the connection. Something needs to change. Something needs to change. Uh, whether it's within the connection or with just you and the way that you're seeing the connection. But um, love yourself first. Your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. Some of you, you could be in a space where you're not really feel, filling your own cup, okay? Or you're not like... I feel like you're giving to others is basically how that feels to me, okay? The temperance card can sometimes be a card of like taking the middle path or, you know, trying to keep peace in a situation. So for some of you guys, I feel like you could be sacrificing a lot um, for people that you're connecting with. And the Wheel of Fortune is saying to love yourself first and that that's going to have to change. So some of you could be taking on a lot and, you know, you're uh, trying to pour from an empty cup is, is the uh, phrase that I was getting there, but it was I was kind of spacing on it. But we had the Three of Wands. It's a card of delegation, okay? So, yeah, I, basically I feel as if for some of you guys, you're going to have to allow other people to uh, do things, okay? Uh, it's how that feels to me, okay? For others of you, I feel like they're trying to show you your future with a person, okay? So there's something about that here where they're trying to show you how your future is going to play out with a person. For some of you, there is a new connection here where it could be like, th things are very stable and rocky from the jump, okay? So it's like you, you start off, this person, is they suck at communicating, they're very back and forth. It's just like there's just a lot going on here that it's like, how's this going to work long term, you know? Um... If it's this bad in the beginning, how's it going to work long term, you know? So that's something you need to ask yourself for uh, some of you guys. So I feel like it's different for all of you. You have to let your friends help you, ask for, and, ex uh, and accept support from others. Two of Pentacles to the High Priestess. High Priestess can represent secrets. Two of Pentacles, I feel like it's you kind of... Um, I feel like it's you, honestly, kind of seeing what you want to see. Two of Pentacles, I'm seeing that as you kind of rationalizing certain things about a person, certain behaviors within a person that you're connecting with. Um... 
it's like you're in that phase where you believe somebody is perfect. So it's like, it's the beginning of a connection is how that feels here, okay? And the high priestess, I feel like there are a lot of hidden things that maybe your friends and family are seeing that you are not seeing, okay? So there's something about that here. For others of you, I think you're having trouble, like I said, managing, okay? So you're taking on a lot, okay? And I feel like there are other people who are kind of sitting back behind the scenes. Um, you know, it's not, it's not clear to me uh, if they are you know, um, allowing you to do this, or if they're trying to help and you're not allowing them to help. But there's something about that here where I feel like there are people that are just kind of sitting back while you're doing a lot, and it's saying to let your friends help you, okay? Uh, if you're working and doing things for them, this is a card of delegation, so keep that in mind. That's coming up under love yourself first. So self-care is being emphasized in the month of July, you guys, and uh, just keeping an open mind in regards to what your friends and family may be telling you about a new person, okay? So, um, get your question ready for July, Libra. Yes or no question for July, okay? Yes or no for Libra in July? Yes or no for Libra in July? Yes or no for Libra in July? Guys, keep in mind that uh, we are going to be doing the love messages um, from the people that you're not communicating with. So if that's something that you're wanting to hear about, stick around and I may be able to bring you some clarity. So for July, we have right now, no, okay? So it's a no right now for July, okay? So let's look at August. What's going on in August for Libra in love? What's going on in August for Libra in love? August for Libra in love. You have unrequited love. There's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going. You have express your love. Go ahead and make the romantic gesture. So you're, you're definitely dealing with multiple people here for a lot of you guys. You have you deserve love. You are lovable. Okay, so let's uh, clarify these. What's going on with unrequited love? A lot of you guys, I feel like throughout the summer, like most people, um, I feel like you're kind of testing the waters here with love and... Um, yeah, I feel like there's somebody here that you wanted growth with uh, in the beginning, and I feel like there's something here where you're kind of seeing their true colors in a situation. Uh, how about express your love? I'll go over these a little bit in a little bit more detail here in just a moment, you guys. And you deserve love. What's going on here with that? Some of you could definitely be in communication um, or connecting with three people, okay? Um, but you have unrequited love. There's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going. You have the Empress to the Eight of Cups. Somebody's very inconsistent is how that feels to me. One second they want growth, the next second their back is turned to the connection, okay? There are a lot of things that don't add up here. In the Eight of Cups, there's, just, there's a, a cup missing from that stack. So it's like there, there are a lot of details missing here. There's a lot of information missing. Um, there's a lot that they, they're just not saying, you know? It's like they may just disappear for days at a time and then there's there's not even an explanation and if there is an explanation it just doesn't make enough sense for you to keep investing you know so I feel like you've been kind of over nurturing with that empress card and the eight of cups I feel like you're finally seeing it for what it is okay and it's like you know this person is showing you how they feel basically so I feel like you are going to be walking away from this situation you also have express your love so you have the queen of wands and the uh, three of swords Saturn and Libra with that three of swords queen of wands is um, Aries energy for some of you guys I feel like there is a person coming in here who may actually be, um, you know, and I don't feel that this is what you're consciously doing. I don't feel like this is that you're purposely trying to do this, but I feel like a new person may come in and they actually um, kind of get you over this situation right here, okay? It's like they, they kind of serve as a distraction and then you realize that you're actually, you know, kind of vibing with this person here. So the Queen of Wands, she's got that black cat at her foot. So... I also feel as if they, they may know about this situation over here. So you may actually express your pain to them in regards to, you know, dealing with this person here. And I, I feel like there's just a lot of really chill communication going on between the two of you, okay? And I feel like maybe after um, the first three or so weeks of August, you may end up, um, you know, gathering the courage to express to this person that you do want to see them or, you know, you want to date or something of that nature here with the Three of Cups, okay? Uh, because you have the Three of Cups underneath. You deserve love. You are lovable, okay? So... 
for a lot of you guys, this person, they're showing you that, okay? Or it could be them that's kind of working up the courage to express their love to you, okay? It doesn't necessarily have to be love, by the way, but it is like passion or attraction or there's chemistry between the two of you. You can't deny it, okay? So I feel like you have been struggling with some relationship obstacles, so you are a little bit hesitant about this page of swords, but you're curious about where it could go. And I think that they're curious about where it could go too. It could be an air sign that you're messaging with here, Libra, a fellow air sign, Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius. But yeah, it didn't work out over here. And I feel like there's a person here that you, that has actually been here for you throughout this uh, pain, throughout this, um, you know, connection here that's not been working out. I actually feel like they're mostly coming in towards the end. Okay. Um, but yeah, I feel like you actually start to click with them as you move on from this and heal from this. You start to click with this person and you're wondering where it can go. Okay. And I think it will lead to happiness. I did see the full card there. So yeah, I feel like it can go somewhere, okay? This person isn't really showing you any ill intentions. They're very open, okay? They're very open. So let's go ahead and uh, get your question. You know, your yes or no question for uh, August, okay? And uh, we'll see what we're getting. And then we'll get into those uh, love messages and clarify those with Tara, okay? So August, yes or no for Libra in August. Yes or no for Libra in August? Maybe. <laughs> so you have a maybe. So honestly, for a lot of you guys, I feel like this is up to you on whether or not uh, you express something here. So you're wanting to know if something's going to work out. I feel like it depends on whether or not you, you are actually open to expressing. So what if you are? Let's see. If you are open to expressing, let's look. What's going on with that for Libra? Very likely. It's very likely, okay? So, um, let's go ahead and get your love messages out here. What's going on with the love messages here for Libra, June to August? Anything they need to know in love? Any messages in love for Libra, June to August? Anything they need to know? June to August for Libra. Love messages. Interesting. So um, I feel like for some of you guys, that new person's energy is coming through here um, pretty strongly as well as the old person's energy. So you have hopefully someday, I feel like this is the new person, hopefully someday. I feel like they are being very patient. We'll look at that though. On the bottom of the deck, you have, I've never felt this way. Underneath that, you have, I can see us making it. So yeah, I feel like that's going to be that new person. Okay. You have, uh, I had to leave before I was left. All right. And you have, I wanted no strings attached. So let's look at this. What's going on with hopefully someday for Libra? Love messages for June to August. Three of Cups. Yeah, it's that person here. And I feel like you're still attached to that past individual with the uh, Devil card energy showing up. Could be a Capricorn you were attached to here, but, um, you know, they also feel, the Devil can also just represent something very powerful. So they feel a very uh, strong connection to you, but at the same time, they feel like you're still tied to this other person right now. So um, they're hoping that someday there can be some kind of coming together between the two of you, okay? Um, and they feel like that, that this will happen. You know, they're giving you uh, time to heal, all right? They really want this with you. They've, they've never felt this way, okay? I uh, had to leave before I was left. Go ahead and clarify that for Libra, please. For June to August and love, had to leave before I was left. Love messages. What's this about? The Emperor, Aries energy. Somebody's just very head over heart. The Strength card, very prideful as well. Um, could have been a Leo, but um, yeah, I do feel like you guys are dealing with somebody who's very emotionally immature. I say could have been a Leo, not because Leos were prideful, but uh, I mean, they can be. So can anybody, you know, any sign for that matter. But I say it because the Strength card represents a Leo card. I generally have people go off on me because they don't know the energies of the cards and they think that I'm saying, you know, something specific about a sign. Uh, but yes, the Emperor and the Strength card being here. Both of those are very masculine energies. Um, they're very much in the headspace. And this person, I feel like they felt as if they were going to get left behind. Some of you, they may uh, struggle with abandonment issues. It may have something to do with the father. The emperor can represent a father, okay? Um, so yeah, I feel like this person, they were just very head over heart. And I think that they held back a lot, okay? I think they held back a lot. And you know, I feel like, what else is going on with this energy here? They definitely have abandonment issues, okay? The Ace of Cups, I think they did have emotion for you. The Six of Cups, and I feel like they kind of buried it. You know, the Six of Cups is a card of walking away from the past. So um, I feel like they also have a bad past in love where, you know, I feel like somebody could have made them look very foolish in love in the past, all right, with the Six of Cups energy. That's what I'm feeling here. So um, 
Yeah, I feel like they haven't been the same since, all right? But that's not your responsibility. And, you know, I feel like this could have been something that dates all the way back to childhood. I feel like, you know, a lot of people, they go through, it's like their first heartbreak just ruins everything for them. You know, they never move on from that for some people. It's crazy. It's insane. You also have I wanted no strings attached, all right? So what's going on with that energy there? I saw the Five of Cups. Somebody's disappointed because they wanted no strings attached, and they did get attached. You have the Temperance card here, okay? So this person, two, two of Swords, Moon, and Libra, they kind of just wanted to go with the flow of things here. Libra is basically how I'm seeing this. They really just wanted to uh, go with the flow of things with the Temperance card. Um, two of Cups, I don't feel like they really uh, planned to open up to you, though. Okay, I don't really feel like they planned to um, open their heart to you. Uh, they were just going to let things go where they went. But at the same time, if it got to that point, I don't. I feel like they would have closed you out. They would have shut you out regardless, okay? So for some of you guys, they just wanted some kind of fling, okay? Or they wanted somebody to talk to, somebody to lean on, all right? Um, but yeah, that's what I'm saying here. They did. They never did want to, uh, you know, have that that level of commitment with you or whatever this was here that you were wanting. They never wanted to actually open their heart in full and be vulnerable to you, okay? They were very closed off because of a past connection or just because they have abandonment issues, all right? So some of you, um, it could have started out as a fling and they developed feelings. So um, I feel like that could have been why they... Uh, you know, backed out of the situation here because I had to leave before I was left. This person definitely has abandonment issues here and they didn't want to get hurt. It hurt their pride when somebody left them in the past. Somebody made them look like a fool in a connection in the past. So, yeah, that's basically how I'm seeing that there. But I do feel like they're moving on at this point in time and I feel like there's new love coming in for you guys. So, I just feel like these messages here are something that they just would, wouldn't say to you, okay? But um, that's what I'm seeing here for you, Libra. I hope that uh, this was helpful. I do want to thank you all so much for watching and supporting me. And there is going to be a link in the comment section. Uh, for those of you who do not know your other signs, you're more than welcome to put your information in there and figure out what those are so you can watch out for those if you'd like, okay? There's also going to be a link to a playlist down there if you all want to um, check out your other signs in there. But if this is where we part, thank you all so much for watching and supporting me, and you enjoy your summer. Bye.